Hi guys, welcome to Digital Channel. So today I'm discussing one of the topic about them. If you're using one cPanel and multiple website, how to add? That is nothing but today we discuss about that shared hosting. How to use in shared hosting? Multiple domain or two domains are we can use this option. In this, that is purpose I'm purchasing one domain here. IOMAcademyHyderabad.com. This domain I can add the cPanel. How to add? In this purpose, we have to go option name is called subdomain option. Now click the subdomain and hit here and click this option. So this domain I'm creating with the, my another website. Click for create option. After creating here, is asking for your particular any login credential will be required. So that is we can add by the your particular cPanel option. When you are shared hosting one cPanel adding multiple website, your subdomain was created here. Subdomain was created. So that will be showing will be here is the particular subdomain option. If anyone open this one it will be here. In a cPanel, they're creating the file. Here, upload the file, we can open the particular website. So right now, this website, just I'm clicking here. Now is not working for this website. Now, give me a second, upload the content here. This purpose, we have to add this option will be here. That is called add and domain option will be here. So here, add and domain so we are in for subdomain here so now i'm adding for add and domain so previous I'm adding for subdomain that is nothing but in a website extension will be given so but i'm not giving the website extension i'll give the complete for my website for the particular option so that is add and domain how it is work i'll show you that how it is work first i'm getting this option this feature here create FTP account, it will be here in this particular website. When asking for, here they are asking for your particular username and particular passwords. As usual, you give the password here, that is called FTP login purpose. Previous on subdomain, this will be add and domain. I'll show the two options, how it is work. First one is the subdomain, these are the add and domain. Here we enter the password here be strong click for add and domain domain added so here wait for add and domain subdomain what is the different tell you this two option compulsory we can understand it so what is the add and domain what is the subdomain clear guys a lot of people confuse this option add and domain and subdomain so now just clear the add and domain here is taking for less than two minutes or less than one minute of time is done go back first we can take the subdomain option how is it working? Subdomain. They will open will be like this. This is the subdomain. This is the main domain. Nothing but add a domain. This will be subdomain option. So which will be useful? Both will be compulsory work. I'll show. When click this website right now, no content will be there. Both websites, no content will be there. Both websites. Now I'm adding the content here. So after adding content, now we can refresh the web page open. Now refresh the web page was open. They will taking some time will be just will be five seconds time after uploading content. So I'm adding for add and domain, subdomain, how to delete. That also will be worry about every option. 
where you can add the subdomain. Click here. Here, which one is the subdomain here? This one. And clicking here, option will be to this remove option. So when remove here, when click back, the subdomain will be not work properly. So the remove option will be valid by the in this. This is your subdomain. I copy the URL. Now and paste. This is not working for a particular URL. So I can open incognis window. All link will be working. Here is that. There is a complete remove for in a particular URL. In a fraction of time is taken will be here. So here, what is the add-on number will be create? Nothing to valid here. So in this, here is option. Click for remove. Is already removed here. Go back, click back, click subdomain. Here is a remote already. If you wait some time to remove this option. So these are the pattern will be followed on the particular user. Create the add and end subdomain purpose. Any further question, you can ask me to my channel. I definitely will be support you. In one C panel, adding multiple options at the bar. That is called shared hosting. Keep it in mind that only for shared hosting in a one CPAN are in multiple website. Subdomain is called in our website, adding the one domain name, add a domain theme word in our one CPAN adding the multiple websites. So use this policy and make it your website perfectly onto the one C panel login, adding the multiple domain option. New domain, add a domain. In a domain, add the one of the name is called subdomain option. Follow this compass instructions and use this particular C panel for shared hosting users. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe our channel.